How y'all doing? This is Sean. This channel's called Wolf Dog Moon. And on today's guitar tutorial, we're going to teach you an awesome song by Nirvana called Drain You. It's from their album Nevermind. If you like this kind of content, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, comment down below, and share with your friends. All right, let's get into this one. All right, we're going to teach you an awesome Nirvana song from the album Nevermind. And uh, it uses a lot of the similar chords, these power chords and stuff. And we're going to show you kind of two ways to play the song. One way you would play electrically, and then the other way you, when you play acoustically the way I like to play it. Um, and I'll, t I'll explain why I play it this way um, once we get into it. So let's do that. So basically you're going to be doing this shape you're going to be the strings are e a d g b e you're going to be use your pointer finger on the a string in the second fret right here and then you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to put it on the fourth fret of the e a d string and then right below that you're going to put your pinky finger down on the g string and you're going to play those th three strings and it should sound like that Okay, if you do it right. Now, um, the other thing with this, you can kind of just rest your pinky or rest your other hand fingers. Like you could rest your your uh, pointer finger. You you want these other strings to kind of be muted, like this. So you could just play all of them like that, and you can e even use your middle finger to kind of mute the low E string too. So it'll, it'll sound like the power chord, but you're not, you know then you don't have to worry about what strings you're um, plucking. These other ones will be dead. So now, so that that's the first chord you're gonna be playing. Now, if you're gonna play it electrically, the way Kurt Cobain would do it, he would just um, bar these other in the fourth fret the E I'm mean not the E excuse me so you got E A D G and B string and then your pointer finger stays on the A string and then the high E is muted so you're just flattening out these three strings right here and then it would sound like this okay so did you I hope you got that um, so I got this microphone is a little bit in the way. Let me move it a little bit. So yeah, so that's how you would do it electrically. So you would just bar those strings and again the high E would be muted and then these other four strings would ring. Okay, and the reason why I don't play it like that acoustically is because your hands will get tired real fast playing it like that. From pushing having to push all those strings down um, they'll get tired but on an electric guitar it's not as hard to push the strings down so I usually like to play it the first way I showed you and you're just gonna play this chord and then you're gonna slide down from the second fret to the sixth fret with this chord so like that and then you're gonna go from there to, you're gonna move down up to the E, the E string. So you're gonna go from this shape and you're gonna stay in this shape, but you're gonna go to the fourth fret of the low E string with that same shape. And then, so it should sound like this. Like that. And then you're going to go down to the 4th fret with the same shape. Like that. So, so let's take it from the top. Well maybe two, another says I'm lucky to meet you. I don't care what you think of this, it is about me. It is. Yeah, so that's hear that so it's 
Okay, so you're doing like down, down, and then you can throw in some dead strings too, and it'll sound real dirty and epic like it does on the Nirvana album. So hear how I put the dead strings in. That's just you're laying your hand, you're releasing the pressure on the strings, and you're just kind of resting all your fingers on the strings, so they're all, the strings are all dead. So that's that's the, pretty much most of the song right there. Now I'll show you how it would sound electrically. See, it sounds similar, but it's got some more high strings in, which will sound really um, epic on an electric guitar, but it, do, it doesn't sound as good on an acoustic guitar. So that's why I play it two different ways. Now, so from there you go, and now from, from this, once you get to this chord, you're going to do that transition where it goes do, 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 do. So you're going to do a chord like this. It's similar to the one you've been doing, but you're going to move up to the second fret on the low E string, and then you're going to use your middle finger, and you're going to put that on the third fret of the G string and that will sound like this like that so you're gonna be playing these four strings like that so you're gonna go so and you're gonna go from there to an E chord an E chord is this E string is gonna be open you're gonna use your middle finger in the second fret on the A string and then you're going to put your ring finger right below that on the D string and then you're going to put your pointed finger on the first fret of the G string and you're going to play just the four strings like that. It should sound like that. Now you could play all of them too but I like to play the four just the four strings these four like that so once you do that you go from there, you're going to go back to this fourth fret with the shape that you were doing before, the original shape, and you're going to put your pointer finger down on the A string in the fourth fret, and then your ring finger on the um, sixth fret of the D string, and then you're going to squeeze your pinky underneath that on the G string in the sixth fret, like that. And you're going to go from back and forth between that and the E chord. Okay, so let's take it from the top. Well, baby, too. Nava says I'm lucky to meet you. I don't care what you think of that. It is about me. It is now my duty to completely drain you. I travel through to Bonanda in your faction to me for you passing back and forth in our passionate kiss from my mouth to yours I like you so the I like you part you're gonna go back to the original chord I showed you and then you're gonna go to an A chord and you can just play it this way by using your pointer finger and pushing down these three strings right here the in the second fret you got the D string the G string and the B string and the high E should be muted you push those strings down you're gonna pluck from the A string down like that And uh, if you don't want the B string to uh, sound, you can do it. It makes it more of an A5. That's fine, too. Like that. So it'll sound like this. And you're going to go back to this other chord I showed you before. And you just, you can put your middle finger right here down on the fifth fret. And that becomes a... Well, it's an A 
flat or a G sharp chord. So. And then you can do a slide from there, like that. He does a slide. You know, that's to go to that part. So it just repeats. And uh, there's, uh, oh, after the second chorus, and you're going to do that, um, you know, you're going to do the chorus. And then you do, I like you, that part. And then you're going to stay on this chord right here. And again, it's, you're going to put your pointer finger on the fourth fret. Your middle finger is going to be on the fifth fret of the G string. And then your ring finger is going to be on the sixth fret of the A string. And your pinky is going to be on the sixth fret of the D string. And basically you're going to do slight palm mute, which means you're just going to lightly rest your palm, your palm on the strings as you're plucking. So you, it should sound like this. And then in between to do the um, kind of aggressive part with the high notes, you're just going to play these two strings right here where the middle finger is and then the high E, high string under it like this. Album, the fire hydrants or whatever they were using uh, the firing the fire extinguishers were going off and stuff that part me screams and then you just go back to the verse again well baby two never says I'm lucky to meet you so that's how you play um, Nirvana's classic song on the second side of Nevermind. It's the second song after Territorial Pissings. And uh, that's an epic song that drain you. So that's how you play it acoustically. And again, if you want to play electrically, wherever the, the power chords um, I showed you, you're just going to switch to the kind of electrified power chords. But your hands will get tired on a, an acoustic guitar real fast doing it that way. So it's better to do it this way just so that you don't start to get exhausted. So that's pretty much how you play that song. And uh, comment down below. Let us know what you think. And uh, I hope that this video has helped you in some way. And uh, we hope that this video finds you having an amazing day. And... Um, you just follow these simple chords and stuff and you'll be playing some epic music and you could be uh, playing it at the, around the cook fire, you know, from around the campfire when you go camping and stuff and everybody could be singing along, playing some, these classic Nirvana songs and you could be singing them, having a good old time. So uh, we hope that you have a blessed day and that your spirits remain high. Signing out. <laughs> <laughs>